Hi everyone and welcome to my weekly Sunday 9 p.m. live video. I am Dr. Tani Ping, consultant obstetrician and gynecologist. And today I'm going to talk about something very current. What is current now? Everyone knows our COVID cases is going crazy. It's going crazy. It's going so high again. But sometimes when you look around, you see why our Malaysia, uh, why is it that we are getting more and more cases? Actually, we cannot blame government. We like to scold government. We want to scold government. Uh, why you MCO la? Why you close down la? And then we got we can we lose our job la? Uh, no business la? Um, but honestly, I think we are all to be blamed for it. We are all to be blamed for it, because look around. Just look around. What? What do do you? You see a lot of people not wearing masks. We know that if everyone wear masks, we have no problem. So today I just want to talk a bit about masks because of course we all know everybody needs to wear masks. We also know a lot of people do not wear masks correctly. They may wear masks below the nose, below the nose. It was like, um, you know, India is in a very bad shape. And at first I was like, yeah, so sad, so pity what is going on in India. But after I saw one video that was uh, uh, posted up by CNN, where they showed everybody in India crying over the loss of the child. Then I noticed one thing, majority of the people that was in the video by CNN was wearing their mask below their nose. So now you know why they have so many cases. Why they have so many cases. They have so many cases because they never bother to, to do what is, met, what is right. I know a lot of things make us very tired, but I think one thing, there's one thing, one thing, one thing that everybody cannot cannot forget is you have to wear a mask every time you're out of your house and today i just want to introduce you all to the various 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 type of masks there are actually many type of masks out there most of us wear the normal three ply mask this is the normal three ply mask that most of us are wearing we know that when you have so many cases out there three ply mask is no longer safe because we know three ply mask only prevent you from spreading the virus to other people but it doesn't prevent other people from spreading it to you. Actually, when you wear three-ply mask, you don't protect yourself at all. You are protecting other people. So when you do not have many cases out there, three-ply mask is definitely enough. But now that we have so many cases, the positive rates are so high. And many of you will already have somebody close to your heart that is currently positive with COVID-19. And this time, at this very moment, it's really not a good time to be COVID positive. One year ago is better off, this time is bad. Because hospitals got no beds. Private hospitals also no beds, especially the ones in Klang Valley. So it's not like, uh, even if government no bed, I just go private, I can always pay. Now you got money also, you got no bed. So it's very important now is every one of you do not get COVID-19. So to protect yourself from COVID-19, you shouldn't be wearing this. And worst case, you wear it below your nose. So when you wear it below your nose, you're not even protecting other people and other people are not protecting you. And you know many people out there actually wear it below their nose, below their chin. And if they are positive, they will definitely spread the virus. And if you're only wearing this, even if you cover yourself properly, it does not protect you. So I really feel that most people out there, especially now, where the cases are really, really a lot, most of us should upgrade our masks. We should upgrade our masks. We should start buying things like this. Oh, me, my family, my children, my parents, they're 70 over years old, they all go out, if they ever go out, they always wear minimum this. This is KN95. KN95 is the minimum you should be wearing. Of course, in hospitals, we wear N95 and N95. 
you don't need to wear N95. Of course, you want to wear N95, it will be even better because in hospitals, that's what we wear. When we do, do nasal swaps, COVID tests, that's what we wear. When we see COVID patients, that's what we wear. But if let's say you do not want to wear N95, you should at least wear a KN. You can see the word there, KN95. You should at least wear a KN95. Yeah, hi Vivian. Hi, uh, Wing Yen Ti. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to wish everybody Happy Mother's Day today. Uh, I was like in a, in a means of thinking whether to have the night, the video tonight or not. But because I didn't tell you all that I'll cancel it today. So after the, the Mother's Day dinner, I decided to do this video again. But a very happy Mother's Day to all of you as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, now there's some... Uh, I can hear some firecrackers uh, in the background around my house. Somebody must be really celebrating Mother's Day. But what is more important for your mother, honestly, is to keep your mother safe. Is to keep your mother safe. Recently, um, I have been walking past some COVID wards and I hear people crying. I do not need to ask why. So, I think the worst thing to ever happen is um, when our parents are usually at home, especially our mothers. And then we are the ones who go out and bring the virus home. I think that is the worst thing that ever happens. And then we bring the virus home and then our mother gets it and then we are well and our mothers don't, are not so well. I think that's the worst thing to ever happen, okay? So for all of you who are young and healthy, who are going out, please keep yourself safe. Don't bring back the virus to the house. So my first advice is put aside all these three ply masks. Put it aside. When our cases are back to like hundreds or less than hundreds, yeah, this is good. But for now, most of us should be wearing at least a KN95. There are many variations that are more or less similar. You can buy this. You can buy this. It is also called KN95. Okay, they are more or less similar. That's why when you see, when you look at Muhidi walking around, you don't see him wearing this. Our Prime Minister doesn't wear this. Because our Prime Minister makes sure he doesn't get and uh, get bad, gets uh, COVID. He always wears this. That is what our Prime Minister is wearing. And there's another one which is also similar. Similar effectiveness. This will be from Korea. This is the Korea design whereby you open up and you put yourself around. Especially for people who have, I would say it all depends on your nose, you know. You will realize that, you know, some people have very hard sharp nose and some are flatter when you have flat nose when you wear this every time you talk you just slowly 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 come down every time you talk you just slowly 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 come down so sometimes same thing with uh, n95 to some people also it will come down but of course it won't go down below the nose but you'll be going very low down which makes it not so effective as well so for those people who have slightly flatter nose i would usually advise them to wear this type of mask so this our mask usually it will look like this okay it will look like this so you should start wearing better masks some of you may wear the dark blue ones there are also dark blue ones there are many type of masks that are better than the three ply masks i think we should start wearing better masks okay this is a dark blue one Okay, I got one patient who just walked into my clinic i still remember one day my hus there's this husband who walked into my clinic and say Hey, doctor, why you look like a duck? Oh, this is a duck bill mask. We wear a lot of duck bill masks in the hospital actually. But this is not N95, so it's slightly better. I mean, it's slightly more breathable. And it's actually very comfortable because it's very cloth light. So this is uh, another mask that you can think about. Okay. So it's usually the coding that we look at, you know, the FFP2. All right. So these are the masks that you can think about. You don't need to wear N95, but it's time, it's time Malaysians need to upgrade. No more three-ply masks, okay? No more cloth masks, please. And one more thing you should avoid. There are some masks, even though they call themselves so-called N95, but they are not N95. They look like N95. They look like N95, but they don't call themselves N95 because it has a valve. We should never, never wear masks with valve. Masks with valve makes you only protect yourself from other people but you're spreading the virus with this so don't wear this 
okay so please keep yourself safe like today um, somebody asked me uh, I saw one husband you know I, I know this husband very well because he has been following his wife to the to my clinic every single visit he never misses his visit and he's always very concerned uh, should my wife do this should my wife do that and then she's always very concerned you know it's like if he knows the wife is not doing something right he will tell me he's like he will report to me you see you see she's not taking care of herself and then i see his mask keep going down and going down and i was like okay at that time at that time i was like but you are not protecting her from the virus because so far all my patients who got covid during pregnancy the person who brought back the virus is usually the husbands so husbands who go out and meet people and work because a lot of pregnant women they tend to be more careful because they're pregnant women when they're pregnant they're very careful so they tend to be more careful because they're very protective this is like an animal instinct I'm protective over my baby so they're very protective but uh, men when they go out they are not having that type of mentality they're only thinking about themselves so they don't realize that they were going to bring the virus home to their wife and wives who are pregnant when they get COVID they can have a high possibility of ending up with more severe diseases so everyone i strictly believe that all malaysians should start upgrading your mask and one of you asked where to buy one honey asked where to buy oh very easy lazada shopee you just type there kn95 and you will get it okay you just type there kn95 and you will have it there's so many out there there's so many brands out there just start to upgrade that is my first advice i have for all of you here and there's one more advice that i feel is very important because now there's no hospital beds and if you look at the statistic every day we do see people who are brought in dead we call brought in dead that means they got covid very bad the moment they reach the hospital they're actually dead so it's basically they died at home and then somebody rushed them to the hospital and they're already dead and it's quite sad because many of them are actually very young why is because the older ones hospital tend to be more careful tend to admit them more and it's the young one that people think ah yeah you're young la it's okay la but young ones can also die from covid and there's one pro uh, interesting thing about covid we say that there are a lot of happy hypoxic covid people happy hypoxic means they have already a lot of lung damage they are already lack of oxygen but they're happy in the sense that they don't look so sick they still look quite well but if you do the x-ray of their lungs it's gone but they look quite well so they can still move around they can go to work they can go shopping they may just feel a bit tired but they're still quite well and that is the danger because their lungs are already damaged and they're still well so the moment they are not well they are very not well and these are the type of people that usually end up high risk of reaching the hospital already dead or dead and dying okay so what you need to do if any every one of you should start buying one thing because when you look at some other countries like in uk if you are covid positive and uh, you stay at home then what will happen the, the the government will send you a covid kit and one of the things that they do in home surveillance home monitoring is actually to monitor your oxygen percentage of oxygen we call oxygen saturation which is marked by percentage everybody also know 100 percent is perfect 95 percent and above is really really good be between 90 to 95 can still be acceptable but never 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 go below 90 percent so what they actually give most of the patients at home but we are not getting it here and so what i want you to do is i strongly advise that all of you need to buy something like this again you can buy it from shopee or anywhere it's not even expensive you put it in your finger it's battery operated and then after you put it in your finger for a certain period of time like for me i'm going to leave it here i'm just going to give it a bit of time to pick up my saturation rate and if you can see of course this is mirror image this is 
98%. Look at the number above. It's 98%. 98, 99. Can you see? 98, 99. So because I'm 99%, I'm very healthy. So anything above 95 is very healthy. Between 90 to 95, still acceptable. If you are COVID positive, you must have this in your in your what you call that uh, in your at home you need to have this you need to check it on yourself maybe not the whole day but three times a day four times a day just put it on and see how is it because once it go below 90 you have to admit yourself to the hospital you have to admit yourself in the hospital and the funny thing about covid is below 90 you're still well you still feel good but you're not good and if you're below 90, you bring this thing and you're below 90, any hospital you go, emergency, trust me, they will never push you away anymore. They won't send you home. So what do you call this? This is a pulse oximeter. I'm going to write it in a comment so that you know how to spell it. And it's very easily available. You just buy it from Shopee. Lazada, Shopee, everywhere you can buy it. It is less than, uh, you can get very cheap ones, just that I advise you not to buy very cheap ones because earlier I went to Shopee and I just bought a whole range. I want to see what is the price that is acceptable. So, less than 50, don't buy. You can get 20, 30 ringgit, oh please don't buy. I've tried it, it's not, it's not accurate. You should get something at least more than 50 ringgit or near 100 ringgit. It will take about a week to come so you need to buy this before you are COVID positive. So every one of you have one of these at home. Buy one and keep at home. It's less than a hundred ringgit. Just buy one and keep at home. Okay. So keep at home and uh, just have it at home. And as long as you have this, anybody in your house, if tested COVID positive, please check this. Because if you go hospital and the hospital say, Oh, you are young, you look okay, please go home. But you don't know whether you are okay tonight, tomorrow. So please check this. So everyone should have this pulse oximeter at home. Please buy this before anyone is already positive. Okay, this is one thing you need. So see, even though I talk so much, I am still 99%. So I'm healthy. Because we have seen many. Uh, in fact, during the early days, there was this doctor I know. Actually, he's, she doesn't feel unwell. She's actually quite well. And then when she checked this, uh, she saw uh, only 70. So shocked. Why I only 70? Then only she went for a COVID test and it's positive. So that's why you need to have this. She doesn't feel that unwell. She's a bit tired. With some COVID, is just a bit tired. So when she checked this and it's 70, she straight away went and do a COVID test and she knows she's COVID positive. So, but I'm not saying that you should depend on this. As long as you're 100, you're, you know you're not COVID positive. Oh, no, 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 no such thing. But uh, uh, in case you do see that it's low, then you need to check whether you're, you have COVID or not. But in any time, if you're high risk, like you have cough, flu, fever, or you are exposed to someone who is COVID positive, you still need to go and get your nasal swab test, yeah? But once you have nasal swab and you are asked to stay at home, if hospital think that they have no bed and they ask you to stay at home, you need to have this. This is life-saving. You need to monitor this, okay? You need to monitor this once you are COVID positive. So everybody should buy one pulse oximeter and keep it at home, okay? If you look at Google, you will see that in overseas like UK, US, when they come to house home monitoring, they always have a pulse oximeter. Our Malaysia is not doing that and that is why we have a lot of brought in date and it's very sad all those brought in date because they are usually very young. Okay, so some of the questions that you have. Okay, where, where to buy is very easy. Shopee, Lazada, you have everything. So just go online and buy. Tiffany asks, how about those KN95 made in China? There are too many choices on Lazada or Shopee, but don't know how to choose. Actually, to me, it does not really matter. Of course, if you ask me if you want really good, you should buy um, 
3 3m because 3m is the medical grade 3m can you see 3m 3m can be made in china also but 3m is the medical grade that means it is a proper um 3m brand they have proper uh what do you call that uh, quality control so 3m also has a kn95 and also uh yeah i don't have it here but i do wear one i the the kn95 that i wear uh i do have one in my bag at all times is also 3m 3m of course if you want branded then you buy 3m but uh, honestly even if you buy just any kn95 from china it is still better than a triple mask it is still better than a triple mask you can immediately feel the difference you wear a triple mask you wear a kn from china this is a kn95 from china you wear a triple mask you wear a kn95 from china you immediately can feel the difference okay next question is from fatin amira i've been tested positive i'm still nursing my nine month old baby is it safe to continue breastfeeding and also being in the same space with my family of course when we uh, say when you have covid 19 it's okay to breastfeed as long as you have a mask and if you really want to keep uh, your baby safe please wear a really really good mask at all time and also wash your hands keep your hands clean and wear a mask at all time you can still breastfeed your baby because the uh, uh, and COVID, COVID virus is not transmitted to breastfeeding but we still need to make sure that because now we know that COVID virus is airborne it's airborne so ultimately the most important place is just the nose and the mouth it's just the nose and the mouth always keep it covered so that you do not spread to other people and keep it covered with a good mask to prevent yourself from getting it from other people so i just want to repeat again three ply mask is to prevent you from giving it to other people it does not protect you from other people so you still can get the virus coming in through all the holes at the side so you need to have a better seal you need to think about kn95 but I know some of the issues that will prop up. Some people will say, cannot breathe. Lah. You know what I tell my patients when they tell me that? They say they're not used to it. I say, we already gave you one year. One year. Don't say you're not used to it. I really cannot accept that as an answer. Even like teachers who do not wear masks in school. Why are teachers not wearing masks in school? You ask me teachers should wear N95 masks in school. Why are they not wearing masks in school? Then they say students cannot hear. No such thing. Okay. Teachers, doctors can talk to patients from for 12 hours with a N95. We wear proper N95 masks. We have no issue. Why? Because it's a matter of getting used to it. You should stop giving yourself the excuse of not wearing. Especially now, virus is everywhere. Virus is everywhere. You want to keep yourself safe, you want to keep your family safe, you have to always make sure this part is fully protected. If you can breathe so well, you are not protecting yourself at all. You're just bluffing people, you are just avoiding the summon, but you're not protecting yourself from the virus at all. Okay, so number one keep yourself safe at all time so if you're breastfeeding always with a mask 24 7 in your house okay as long as you are wearing a good mask you do not need to worry about you transferring the virus to other people in your family even if you are staying in the same house but you need to be wearing it at all time not like um, you take it out when you are alone in the room and then somebody else comes in later and there's nobody comes in okay so wear a mask that is very important vivian asked would you recommend this korean four ply mask uh korean four ply mask definitely better than three ply but nothing is as good as kn95 or n95 if you are able to uh, tolerate a better mask then wear n95 what's so bad about n95 we wear this the whole time when we are working 
and we talk to you the whole time when we're working. If you come and see me, you'll see me wearing this mask all the time. And I talk to you all the time. And you can hear me, I can hear you, there's no issue. So uh, this is an N95. There are many types of N95 out there. Any, any N95 will do as long as it's, it's labeled as N95. But as I say, if you're thinking of a good brand, reliable, with good quality control, always look for 3M, okay? So these are the things that you need to think about. Nuro Huda Salis asks how do you call it when you order? Just either N95 or KN95, okay? Alright, so um ah yeah, even us. Hi Dr. Tan, can I breastfeed after COVID-19 in vaccination? Of course, no problem, no problem. If you are vaccinated because uh, if, even though you are breastfeeding because we know that breastfeeding certain brands are safe certain brands are not safe and uh, not say not safe sorry I, will, I cannot say that some are proven safe and some have not been proven because it's still new ma, still not proven but some already proven safe proven safe for pregnancy proven safe for breastfeeding so when you get this uh, this vaccination whether you are breastfeeding or you are pregnant there's no issue you can continue being pregnant and also continue breastfeeding there's no issue vaccination has no problem at all all right so uh, these are my 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 top talks on uh, covid 19 so i hope you will share with all your family members protect your family members from now always wear minimum a kn95 in fact many months ago also when Europe, US, when they were like at high peak of virus transmission, oh, even that the government say must wear KN95. At least a KN95 or an N95. That is what the government asked all of them to wear. So it should be the same in Malaysia because we are in a very bad state now. In a bad state now. So we have to play our role as citizens to bring the virus down. We cannot just blame government when they do MCO. Actually, we are to be blamed. We allow the virus to spread. We are the ones who allow the virus to spread. So we as citizens are the ones who are responsible when the virus goes, uh, numbers go up, when the MCO comes down. So we shouldn't blame government. Okay, so yeah, I hope my message goes through okay so and a uh, pass was emitted never for, never forget all right okay uh if you're asking me pass was emitted is there any good brand of course those good brands medical grade one are there but they are very very expensive so i that's why i tried to go to shopee and buy all and i look at it more or less i tell you if you can get something uh more than 50 ringgit 50 50 to 100 ringgit they are fine don't buy those 20 30 ringgit oh no 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 they are not accurate at all but even though they are not accurate, I did do some tests on it. Lah. It's just that um, it will still go down when you are not, not breathing. So I try not to breathe for, for as long as I could and then I do see it coming down. But it's not as accurate because the number is not really as accurate as those medical grade ones. Alright, but better than nothing, honestly. So go and buy now. Eh? Go and buy now, today. <laughs> 